are driving here now and it's about a two hour drive south from Hisipi Airport to Tamandare or Praia dos Carneiros where we're staying. And it's actually a really beautiful drive. We're very pleasantly surprised. Tons of uh, sugarcane fields here so the landscape is extremely green. Those carneros. Beautiful. I think we found paradise. Hey, my paradise. <laughs> So we're here on Praia dos Carneros and we're right where the river turns into the ocean. So we picked a good spot, we picked a good resort. It's very quiet um, along the main you know, stretch of sand that faces the ocean and as soon as you round that corner and head up the river side, we have a mass amount of people. So we're gonna walk through and show you a little bit of that. Uh, it's, it's not bad, it's just I wouldn't call it a relaxing vacation spot. Morning guys. We've gotten up early this morning in Praia dos Carneros and we're heading over to the Church of St. Benedicto. It's a really idyllic little beautiful church on the coastline there in Praia dos Carneros. It's pretty much the iconic image that you see whenever you see pictures of Praia dos Carneros or even Porto de Galinhas. It's a beautiful little church, historic church built in 1910, I believe. We're going to go check that out now. What happened to the tide? very rough um, you know most of the most of the areas around here we're finding our the open ocean is a little too rough to swim it might just be the time of year um, but the, really the place that you want to swim is in the tide pools the area the whole area up and down the coast here uh, it, it's, it has this rock here that seems to be a barrier between the shoreline and you know, the, the open ocean. So I'll show you what that looks like now. All right, so you can see this is the tidal pool. And over here is the ocean side. So you can see that the, the rocks here create a really nice barrier. Um, for swimmers to enjoy the ocean without the risk of baby sharks, uh, dangerous waves, dangerous surf currents. Pretty cool. Porto de sombrinhas.
de Keshi. Look, we're selling. So another cool thing to do in Puerto de Galinas is come at night and check out some of the souvenirs and festival of arts, right? That's what they call this. The stuff nice that time. I love. which is a little boat um, onto the river that goes into the ocean and uh, check out some of the marshes where you can, if you're lucky, spot some seahorses, right? Pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the boat ride is nice, about 45 minutes, paid 10 bucks to park and for about 50 hay eyes for two people you can take a 45 minute jangada ride and if you're lucky your host can pick up and find some seahorses for you pretty cool experience No matter where you are in Brazil, you can always count on getting some beer, corn, you name it, shrimp, any kind of snack, right on the beach. You don't have to go far. No road here, but somehow we managed to get beer and ice cream. Cerveja, Our little serenity uh, over in Praia dos Carneiros, Sejambi, is uh, Looking really good right now. Look at these crowds. Puerto de Galinhas, a little overrun, a little crowded. Brazil tour. Olinda. Olinda. And this is a historic city built in the 1500s. Right? That's right. It's a beautifully preserved town. Uh, just on the edge of Hisifi. UNESCO Heritage Site. You can see some of the churches that we are visiting in some of the historic and beautiful, well-preserved buildings here.
guys enjoyed the video. I'm back home now uh, reviewing our trip. I uh, just wanted to sum it up for you. The five places we went to listed here, Praia dos Carneiros, Sejambi, uh, Puerto Gigalinas, Maracaipe, and Olinda. So in summary, uh, my recommendations for Pernambuco would be, uh, you know, the highlights were the Pontal dos Carneiros, which was the beach bungalow resort we stayed in in Praia dos Carneiros. I would recommend the night scene in Porto de Galinhas, a nice little lively beach town with shopping and food um, and some live music on the streets, so that was fun. I wouldn't recommend Porto de Galinhas during the day. Um, it gets a little crowded there. I like my beaches a little bit more secluded. Um, and number three, Olinda, the historic center in Recife was fun. I would definitely recommend checking it out for a day or two. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.